Hello everybody, my name is Professor Wyatt, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley, and I'm sorry it's been such a long time since I've posted anything on the channel. Um, I've actually been quote-unquote off the grid, and by that I mean I haven't been around to... Here, let me pause the game so that we don't waste any time. I have been... Uh, away from any good internet connection, so I wouldn't be able to upload at all. And this was kind of unplanned and unexpected, so that's why there haven't been any videos in, I think, was it five days? I think it was five days. For the first two days I was working, and then the other three days it was an unexpected trip, so... Yeah, that's why there hasn't been anything new added onto the channel. And like normal, I'm going to be trying to post things every day. And also like normal, we're going to do two days in game for this episode. So let's get started. I believe it was going to... Oh wait, yeah, I haven't checked the, the TV for for tomorrow, so let's go and do that. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Crap. That means I'm gonna have to water everything. Uh, somewhat annoyed, okay. Living off the land, okay. Oh yeah, we gotta get our, we gotta get the spring onions. So I'll do, I'll do that today. Hopefully I remember, but before we do anything, let's water our potatoes, parsnips, and our three random seeds over there. Because last episode, we went and mined at our own quarry that's down there. I'm going to have to go and clear out all of that stone. I might cut that part out. If you guys want to see parts of the... If you want to see parts where I'm just digging at random rocks in my quarry, then I can leave it in. But for now, I think I'm just going to cut it out because that's kind of boring. So, yeah, just leave any comments down below for what you want to see and what you don't want to see. Like, what you want me to leave in and cut out so that I know how I should edit these episodes of Stardew Valley. So, I'm going to go and fill up my watering can down here. Oh, yeah, and that... or I mean, that doesn't remind me, but I just... I just remembered that I set up a Discord server, so I will leave the link down below if you want to join it, if you have a Discord account, and that way you can chat with me and other members of this channel's community. So for the beginning, there won't be many people on it, but I'm definitely going to get part of my group in there. Like, uh, Malachi might get in that. I don't know. I'll see if he can actually get Discord, but... Some other people that I might be playing with on this channel are gonna be there in the future. But... Yeah. So, Pierre's is open today, right? Oh, we've got a quest. So let's go and see what that is. So, we... If we catch three sardines... Ooh. That's a good quest. I think I'll do that. Because I do like fishing. And where we're going to be going, we're going to also fish. Actually, sardines are in the ocean. So we're going to have to... Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to go and get the spring onions. And then I'll head down to the ocean so that we can catch some sardines. I think we have three days to complete the quest, too. So, what are we going to get? Cauliflower is good, but shouldn't get that right away. I think I'm just going to go with some more parsnips. That sounds like a good plan right there. Just getting five parsnips. Oh, yeah, we got to go see Abigail. Where is Abigail? Abigail, you in here? Hello? Abigail? There's Caroline. Where's Abigail? Caroline, have you seen Abigail? Is she still in her room? Where is Abigail? Not in bed. Hmm. 
Maybe, okay, it's 10 a.m., so she should be walking out of her room if she is. No. Okay, well, you missed out on the flower, Abigail. But... Yeah, I think we're just gonna go head down and get those spring mushrooms, which are right here. In case you didn't know, I'm going to head down there right now. I'm gonna either cross this bridge or go across this one. It might be, yeah, it'll be easier to go across this. And then we head back up and we'll, yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. So, there's Penny. <sighs> And if we're heading this way, we might even meet some people like um, Marnie. I think that's what her name is. And then there's Leah down here. Ooh, horseradish. Horseradish? Okay. I always have a hard time pronouncing that. Horseradish. And a dandelion. Ah, here's the spring onions. Nice. So let's go and harvest all of these. And where's the rest? Any more? Is that all? Only seven? Oh, that's not that fun. And there's the sewer. I actually have never been in the sewer, even though I've invested like 200 and something hours into the game. I haven't. I have never been in the sewer. So when we go and do that, that's going to be new to me and it might be new to you guys if you've played the game and haven't gotten to that part yet or you haven't played the game but enjoyed the series it'll be new for both of us then i also haven't been into the the desert casino i haven't been to the desert much either like i've been to the desert i've been in the mines at the desert oh here's leah there's actually a lot of wild food in the area. Oh wait, we did meet Leah already. I forgot about that. If you know where to look. Yeah, I know. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. That's pretty nice. Good for you. Yeah, I usually either go for Leah or Abigail. Or I've uh, completed the... I, I, I've married Haley before, so... Probably won't do that again. But if we do another series, I'm going to go after, oh, we got forageables down here. Sorry if I, oh man, out of space in my inventory. What can we get rid of? We can, yeah, we'll eat a dandelion to recover some of our energy. Then we'll go right to the edge of this pier here and we'll fish. Oh, man. Fishing is so calm in this game. I don't know if there's a better word for it. Just calm, peaceful. We'll also eat the seaweed to recover some energy. We can use that in our quarry. Didn't want to cast that way, but that's fine. Oh, but we got a fish. This might be a sardine. It's not fighting all that hard so oh got a sardine yeah sorry if I have terrible commentary today it's I slept like 12 hours on accident and if I sleep 12 hours I just feel terrible and I'm still trying to get over um Ooh, another sardine. I'm still trying to get over sleeping 12 hours. But I just feel terrible for the rest of the day. If I don't get any sleep, I'm fine. If I get too much sleep, it's just... <laughs> it's awful for me. But, yeah. Ooh, this might also be another sardine. If we can get the third sardine right away, that'll be great. Yes. Oh, that's an anchovy. Hmm. Clay's good, but we don't need that right away. So I'll take the anchovy. And we'll just continue fishing. 
and we'll sell this anchovy, and uh, the fisherman will give us 120 gold if we get the third sardine. Ooh, am I going to get a perfect on this one? Oh, I didn't get a perfect. Third sardine, let's go. And then we can get more money by selling the fish afterwards. So, guess what? Hey, you succeeded, Professor W, because I can't fit my name, the full name in this. The, sa bleh. the sardine is an exciting catch, don't you think? No. They're always hiding in the most peculiar places. Well, here's your reward. Congratulations. Okay, and then... Sorry, I don't have time to talk. Gotta do all of this, and then we'll sell the sardines and the anchovies. And then we'll collect this reward, and then we'll sell our spring onions and our horseradish, and we'll get some more parsnip seeds. Oh, we didn't. We didn't have room for that muscle earlier, so... Let's hope that we can get up to Pierre's before his shop closes, because... That'll be great. Hey, Caroline. Bye, Caroline. Oh, there's Abigail. Here. Abigail. Fine, I'll just... I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you first. Can I, can I talk? There we go. Oh, hi. Oh. I, I just got oh hide. You brought me a present? Thanks. Let's see. Zero out of ten hearts. That sucks. Okay, but horseradish and wild onions. And that'll put us up to 433 gold. So let's just buy some more parsnips. Just get as many as we can. So we've got 26 parsnip seeds. That's good. It's good. Did we meet Morrow? I don't think we met Morrow. Did we meet you, Morrow? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Play. Yeah, we met Morrow. We also met Haley. Hmm. So. We're just gonna head on home. Put the muscle in the chest, or the bin up here. And then I'll get... Working on tilling all of these places for the parsnips. I think I'm gonna leave this part in. If you guys wanna, if you want me to skip all of the stuff where I just plant all of my crops, then go ahead and tell me in the comments that, hey, you should skip all of this boring stuff, and I'll skip all of the boring stuff. But... I'm definitely going to leave out mining because, or I mean, if I'm in the mine, I'll keep that in because that's kind of exciting because there's monsters down there. But if it's just me in my quarry where there's no monsters and nothing's happening, then I'll leave that out. But, yeah, any, anything else I'll just leave in, like the mine specifically I'll leave in. Oh, that's gonna bother me. That's... that's off. So... We made... a bit of money today. We're gonna be making a lot of money, I think. Or we're gonna be making some money tomorrow. But... If... If we don't, then... That'll be fine. Sorry for the lack of commentary right now. I, I'm just really focusing on watering my crops because that's that requires a lot of focus. I'm just out of things to commentate on. Oh man, we're gonna have to clean up this farm. Later on, it'll you'll be able to clear it a lot more easily, but you want to do it over a period of time because. It's just really boring to try to clear it all in one day. So, for the rest of the day, I'm going to head up to the mine. And I'm just going to go ahead and not get anything, because apparently there's nothing here. That's great. Did I clear it out before? I don't remember. 
don't water the log. I don't remember if I did clear out everything, so... <sighs> yeah. Looks like we're gonna be wasting a bit of energy today. Which is not all that great. I mean, we could use it clearing up the, the farm, but... Yeah, I think I might cut down a tree or two with the leftover energy. Try to clear out some air, um, some land so that I can plant some more plants there. And... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be recording another episode of Stardew Valley right after this. I think I'm going to do some Starbound. Because Starbound and RimWorld seem to be my most popular series on the channel. They've gotten the most views. Along with Death Road to Canada. People really liked that. I might include another season if I get Malachi or somebody else over again. We might do another series of Death Road to Canada. Because that was, that was fun. Uh, I enjoyed that. You guys enjoyed that too, obviously, because I wouldn't have gotten so many views on it if you guys didn't enjoy it. So... If you guys do want to see another season of that, then I can do that. Sorry it was so short, but... Eh. What can you do? Got swarmed by zombies. Malachi kept killing people. <laughs> yeah. So we made 30 gold. That's good. What's not good is that it's sunny today, but in the next episode, it's also going to be sunny. Oh, I was hoping for rain. And it wouldn't be a good idea to go fishing today either, because luck is not with us. To our valued Jojo Mark customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant to in it. L61091 Jojoko Admin Amendment bleh, sorry. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize. Oh, I can't speak today. We apologize for any inconvenience this incident may have caused. As always, we we value our uh, you know what? It, it's it's just them cleaning up the landslide. Ooh, we got our parsnips today. That's, that's good. And we completed a mission. Do we get money for that? We do get money for that. That's great. So, we've now got two ones. We can reach farm level one, which we will do by the end of today. Or by the end of this episode. You guys won't see it. Um, you guys won't see the effects until next episode. Or, I mean, you'll see what new gains I get, because I'll have that at the end of the episode, but I think we're foraging level 2 also, right? Skills. Oh, we're foraging, mining, oh, and we're already farming level 1. Well then, oh, because we just got to farming level 1. That makes sense. But yeah, in the last episode, I think we gained two levels in forging and mining, so that's that's good. Is it okay, good. It's not Wednesday, so I will head down to Pierre's today and I will um I will go and buy some more seeds from him and that'll be good. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, once you get all of your seeds planted and you're just waiting for them to grow, there's not much that you can do other than clear out your uh, your farming area. So... Oh, I can't water that. That sucks. But... Now that that landslide is gone, I should be able to get into the mine. And that... I think that's what we're going to do in this... Like, today. We're gonna do that today. We're gonna head down over to the mine. And we're gonna get into the first levels of the mine. Hopefully we have enough time to do that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put the parsnips in the... in the chest. 
and then yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put the parsnips in the chest i'm gonna store some stuff in my chest we won't need the scythe won't need the watering can won't need the axe won't need the hoe won't need the fishing pole just need the pickaxe and we will get a sword later on so that we can actually defend ourselves in the mine because that would be bad if we can't oh cutscene did not expect this oh hi there I forgot what voice I gave Lewis before. What an eyesore. I think I'm going to make him Irish. I don't know. This is the Pelican Town... No, I can't do an Irish accent right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so that they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Ah, well. If anyone else buys a Jojo membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Sigh. Er, <sighs> Here, let's go inside. <laughs> Shouldn't say sigh when it says sigh. Should just go <sighs> and actually sigh instead of saying sigh. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What? <laughs> What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. You're worrying me, Professor W. Or, I'm just going to say Professor what. Look, I think we're going to head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna... Since we're already here, I'll head in here and I'll get this tablet, but... So that we can meet the wizard and... Try to complete that quest. Can't read it. But I don't know if I'm gonna go the Jojo Mart route and just buy my way through all of the perks. Or if I'm gonna do this and... Oh man, I... It's easier to go with Jojo Mart, but... It's just, ugh, I, I feel so bad, you know, just selling them that I don't think I can do it. I've never actually gone with Jojo Mart. Oh, hey, here's, uh, what's his name? Linus? Linus. A stranger. Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Yeah, Lin Linus. Linus. Oh, I'm sorry. But he lives in this tent up here. Poor Linus. And another cutscene. Hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. 
But a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Got some Legend of Zelda stuff going on here. You received a rusty sword. Except it isn't a wooden sword, so... Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Okay, so this is where we head into the mine. So, how the mine works... Sorry, let me just fix my inventory here. How the mine works is you go around and you bust these stones until you can find the ladder down. And usually for the first level I find it like down in this corner, but you can find them anywhere. And hopefully we don't just waste all of our energy on the first floor because we want to get that elevator active. There we go. And then as you get further down you'll find more ores like copper. Which we're going to need because we want that furnace up and running so that we can upgrade our tools as soon as possible. And you want to upgrade your tools like just before a rainy day. No, bad slime. Yeah, you see, here's the monsters I was talking about. So far they're not as threatening. Ah, they slimed me again. So far they're not as threatening as some of the other ones, but it'll get increasingly more difficult. And these bugs are one-shot one kills, and uh, yeah, they'll, they'll drop bug meat, and that can, uh, that can make bait. Where is the ladder in this place? Oh, we got a, uh, okay, got to reach level five in the mine. Ah, oh, there we go, finally. Level five is where, oh, I got a geode. But that's where you'll find the, the elevator. Oh, man, I'm going to need this, aren't I? I can't even pick it up. Oh, that's, that's just great. Okay, we made it through anyway, so we're fine. Oh, we've got some crates down here that we can break. What is that going to give us? Nothing. I can't see a thing. Ah, oh, This sucks. You guys probably won't even be able to see it. Like, you'll be able to see worse than me because I know YouTube dims down the lighting settings and everything. And it's just... Yeah, you guys don't get to see as much as me. Maybe I'll turn up the gamma on my computer so that you guys can see, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it to level 5 in the mine. Actually, we've got some algae here and a cave carrot. Nice. Eat both of those. So that we can get further down into the mine. I'm hoping this episode isn't too long. Because then it'll take forever to upload. And it might be a really late episode. I don't know. Oh, ladder. There we go. <gasps> and we get a ladder right off the bat, too. That's really nice. Oh, we get a double ladder. I believe that ladder adds, or, or, um, that leads to a infested area. So we'll go down that one. Nope. No infested area, sadly. Because I wanted all of that slime. Because eventually you will be able to create a slime farm. And, I mean, I don't really see any use in the slime farm, but I've never seen any use in the slime farm. I just like to have it because it's a slime farm. So, any ores down here? Still haven't seen any ores. I mean, we have just on the second floor and nothing else. So hopefully we can find the ladder and get further down so that we can get the better ores like iron but for now we're gonna want a lot of copper so that we can upgrade our tools before we can get to iron tier yeah I don't even think we're gonna make it down another level that sucks oh we do have another cape carrot so that's nice Yeah, 
I'm gonna have to eat this cave carrot. Yeah, but... This game isn't just mining, and that's what really drew me to this, to this game, was it's, it's just such a, it's such a nice game, it's got a lot of content into it, it's just really nice. Oh man. Well, I'm gonna have to head home. Yeah, we can just head up the ladder. But, let's just head home now. I don't have enough energy to do anything else. Uh, there's a horseradish here, so, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna sell it. Yeah, I'll just sell this horseradish. It'll be better if I do. And also this onion, I think that's, no, that's a leek. And another horseradish. Nice. Yeah, so I'm going to be ending the episode off in a little bit. Once we uh, get back inside and sleep, then I'll end it. So, once again, if you actually... I, I might post a video on our garden and just some of the other things I have around the house. Uh, IRL. Not in-game, but if you guys want to see that, then go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know that you want to see that. And I will maybe do like a, a series on my garden IRL. Because right now we've got peas and beans and we've got cabbage and broccoli. I think we planted the cabbage and broccoli too close together, but we've also got potatoes. And I've grown potatoes before, and they're pretty easy. But, yeah, if you guys do want to see that, because while we're on the topic of farming, because it's Stardew Valley, if you guys want to see a series like that, or just a single episode, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I'm just going to go to bed real quick, and then we're going to end off the episode. So did we get... Any money? Yep, we got level one farming, and we will get money. We made a lot of money. Later on, we're going to be making like 10,000 gold a day, but for now, this is a lot. So, I think this is where I'm going to end off the video. If you like the video, then make sure to give it a like. If you aren't subscribed already, then make sure to do that. And if you are subscribed, then hit that notification button down below. If you have any suggestions on what I should put on my channel, like the gardening thing, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'm Professor What, and I'll see you in the next...